do that. When, you, when you're always using quotes, you, you're just lying because you don't know what, what it really means. You have to be true and honest with ourselves, with yourself, with your children. Be invisible. This injury. You see, that's what being invisible means. Because you, they don't show you in their media. You think you're not being seen. You see, we're so bent on wanting to be seen in their media. Don't worry about that. When we power up and start using our own cell, our own selves as our own media, answers will come through us. Like the research they did, they came, they gave it, they gave that up. They gave that up. Didn't know what they was giving up. Chicago Tribune, and now today the Universal Order mixes it up and says yes, the murder and the killing is going on. You can neutralize it. And that's how we neutralize them. That's how we neutralize our dollars, stop our dollars from going, for trying to pretend. Because they're the world's greatest pretenders, the great pretenders. Always Jayla and all that. Like when the president won the office, all the money spent trying to dress up. And we want to just outdress them. Stop. Come on, people. That is not helping us. When you're not making the clothes yourself. Stop making the clothes. Then outdressing them. In your clothing, talking about who are you wearing? How ridiculous. Who who are you wearing? You're wearing someone who's taking advantage of you. You're wearing ourselves out. You're wearing the children out. That's what that's who you're wearing. You're wearing out our children, leaving them out. By not wearing your own clothing. Not, by not wearing the solar system, the star system, as the Dogons would do. Wearing stars. In their clothing, drawing the colors in their clothing, like people do, indigenous people do, like our ancestors did, are doing and wearing the clothing in the in the uh, rocks. You see hieroglyphics, and the symbology on the walls everywhere worldwide. See, that's what they're wearing. They're wearing that. And we learn from that. And you try to come and wear the clothes that these people wear. That's ridiculous. That's ignorance. People of color, we're being too ignorant. Wearing someone else's clothing. And I'm talking about these suit wearers. I don't care who it is. Wear the church every Sunday. Who's wearing those clothes? Who's making the clothes that you're wearing? So again, you're wearing the children out. And look at the, the, the clothes they're making. They said all the clothes that we're wearing, child labor in other countries, in virgins. We're losing $19.5 billion wearing their clothes. You talk about where the jobs are, that right there. If you get up and start making your own clothes, making clothes for children, making clothes for your friends, making clothes for people around you, making the clothes, you'll see who that's who you're wearing. His brother, I, I can't think of his name right now. I've been trying to think of his name for the last few minutes. Who had that uh, clothing line who, when he started out, like he says, and uh, uh, all of that. Wearing his clothes. That's how I was young. That's how I am now. When I started making my own clothes, my own pair of pants, my own shirts. And so when you're asking me, who am I wearing? How, why are you asking me, who am I, who am I wearing? Someone's taking advantage of me. So we don't care about me. And you know what these people are saying about us. They don't make clothes for us. They don't make clothes for us. They make clothes for other people. Not for you. So why are you trying to wear someone else's clothing? Wearing yourself out. Wearing the children out. 